Picture a scenario. You created some items in Blender, you got them into Unity somehow, and you also somehow made a complete inventory in Unity, which none of us actually know the way it works, but now you need icons to display in your inventory. You've tried painting something in paint, that didn't work. Then you tried Photoshop, that somehow turned out even worse. And now you searched it on YouTube. And let me tell you, you're in the right place. I'm going to show you how to make icons in Blender. I'm not going to show you the part where you need to input it into Unity because that's pretty self-explanatory, you just drag it in there. First, you need something to take the image off, you know, you need some kind of an item, some kind of a model. Me, myself, I'm going to make a potato. It's a very low poly potato, okay. Right, next you need a camera, of course. How else are you going to take the image? You got your camera, but it's not looking in the right direction, so you can press N on your keyboard. I know, right, magic. And change the rotation on the x-axis to 90, and the rest you can set to 0. Right now, your camera is looking in the right direction. The third step is moving the camera. Pretty easy. Press G, press Y, and move the camera. Right, so how are you going to check where your camera is looking at? Pretty easy also. You can press 0 on your numpad and then you can see what your camera sees. Once you're done you can just use your middle mouse to you know look away. Next you need the resolution of the icon. It's in the output tab right here, the third tab from the top. You can see the resolution. I suggest something like 1024. I don't think you'll need any, anything more. You can go 512 by 512. You can also go higher with 2048 by 2048. I think this is pretty good. If you want some kind of post processing in it, you can go up here to the render tab and add some ambient occlusion or bloom or something. Also you'll need a transparent background on this and a very easy way to do that is going here to the film and clicking transparent. Next I would suggest you add a light, that always helps. Shift A, light, sun. Then I always kind of move it in a nice direction and uh, press RX to rotate it towards uh, the, the item. So it's looking nice. Now, unless you want your model to be this shitty white color, uh, you can go down to the matte tab and maybe create a new material. You may already have one. You try changing your base color, but that didn't work. Uh, that's because Blender 2.8 has a new tab down here called Viewport Display. If you go here, you can change the viewport. Uh, you can change the viewport color of the material. My potato is gonna be a nice uh, sandy color. Now, if you want it rendered this way, you're gonna copy the hex code right here. Press Control C. You can copy the other values. This one's just much easier. Now go to the surface and go to your base color hex code and paste it in there and make sure that's the color that renders. There's only three steps left. Next one is pressing zero on uh, your numpad and fitting the model right into your scene. I'll fit mine somehow. This looks pretty good for my potato. Make sure it fits the uh, borders nicely because you don't want your uh, icon to be too small. Almost the last step is pressing F12 on your keyboard or going up here to render and render image. Once you do, you got a new window. This is your new icon. Now you can just go to image, save as, or just press shift S and save it somewhere. I'm gonna save mine as potato. You can import this to Unity and change it to a sprite and everything will work fine. That's it for me, you can go support me on my Patreon, there's links in the description. There's also a bunch of other cool things in the description, so go check it out. I'll see you next time, bye bye.